हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अप्लाइड फॉरेंसिक रिसर्च साइंसेज दिस इज फॉरेंसिक साइंस इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन टेक्निक पार्ट ट्वेल्व एंड द टॉपिक फॉर टुडेज इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन टेक्निक वीडियो इज इलेक्ट्रोफॉरिस सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट इलेक्ट्रोफॉरिस इज अ लेबोरेटरी टेक्निक यूज टू सेपरेट डी एन ए आर एन ए और प्रोटीन मॉलिक्यूल्स बेस्ड ऑन देयर साइज एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल चार्ज The electrokinetic phenomenon of electrophoresis was observed for the first time in 1807 by the Russian professors Peter Ivanovich Strakhov and Ferdinand Frederick Reuss at Moscow University who noticed that the application of a constant electric field caused clay particles dispersed in water to migrate now we will see the principle electrophoresis is a journal term that describes the migration and separation of charged particles that is ions under the influence of an electric field an electrophoretic system consists of two electrodes of opposite charge among which one is cathode and one is anode connected by a conducting medium known as electrolyte the separation effect on the ionic particles results from differences in their velocity denoted by v which is the product of the particles mobility denoted by m and the field strength denoted by e so the formula that we get from this principle is velocity which is equals to particles mobility multiplied by field strength now we will see the mechanism of electrophoresis the working principle of electrophoresis is that it causes the separation of the molecules ions or colloidal particles that suspend in the matrix under the force of an electric field the electric field allows the migration of the positively charged molecules towards the anode and the migration of negatively charged molecules towards the cathode therefore electrophoresis is the electrokinetic phenomenon where the motion of molecules occurs under an electric field now we will see the types of electrophoresis paper electrophoresis gel electrophoresis thin layer electrophoresis cellulose acetate electrophoresis capillary electrophoresis isotacophoresis isoelectric focusing and immunoelectrophoresis here are the applications of electrophoresis first sizing of nucleic acid molecules second dna fragmentation for southern blotting third rna fragmentation for northern blotting fourth protein fragmentation for western blotting fifth analytical separation of pcr products and the last one is detection and analysis of mutations or variations in sequences so thanks a lot for watching our video hope you like this video please do like share and subscribe our channel